Well, this may not be the most exciting video I've yet made. This is long overdue. It's the enclosure I need for my Prusa Mini 3D printer. Um, I was a bit reluctant to put the printer in an enclosure at first because I was having to tweak it and I was loading and un unloading filament a lot, which is a fiddly process. I was also struggled to get a good footprint to figure out how to put this together. The key to solving the footprint problem came through the other day when I saw that somebody had made a bottom loading variant of the Prusa Mini. But I'll show you that in a second. The cabinet itself is made out of this beautiful uh, oak laminate worktop I managed to chop up and repurpose here. There's some LED lights in the top so I can see what I'm doing and a little pre-printed switch on the side here. And then the front there are some screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, on the box and there are some magnets in little 3D printed surrounds glued to the plexiglass front. This front is actually from a big picture frame that I bought. I scored it and snapped it at the edges. And if you line that up with the magnets, it sticks in the front and makes quite a good seal. And it's pretty easy to remove and store. Inside, you've got the regular printer, the power cable goes through the back, and the filament is being fed up through the bottom here. And what I've got is um, a glass guitar slide that I wasn't using, that I made, um, built into the box there to give the, the, fil the filament path a nice smooth e um, entrance. So I had this great big bearing sitting around from a robotics project. I put some feet in it in case I needed to mount it on something and I printed this big chunky insert with pretty minimal infill. Let's have a look at that out. So it takes a couple of different, it's got a tapered top and bottom so it fits in and you can put various different sized spindles on it. And I found that feeds pretty well. Thank you for watching and stay safe.